Welcome to Creative TN channel. Today we have a hand knitting project. We are going to knit a square from the center out. This can be a very simple mindless project. You just want to start a project without referring to pattern all the time. This can be the good project choice. Basically, this is similar to the granny square in the crochet. So the exact gauge is not as important. You should make a little swatch to see if you prefer it loose or tight. And one good application here is a blanket. And it can be a small blanket for baby or a big one for full size bed. Or if you just want to knit one little square at a time, you can do that too. And you can seam it up after you knit all the squares and become a bigger project. And the construction is very simple. We start cast on from the center and uh, knit in the round. And we separate into four sections. And each section we have two stitch increase. So every round we will have eight stitches increased. And uh, every other row, we will just need plain knitting. So you'll be one increase round and then one plain knitting round. Or the other way is to use gutter stitch all over instead of stockiness stitch in the center and the gutter stitch at the edge. So that's up to you. And also for the increase, I have the yarn over increase here. You can also use different increase, such as knit front and back. That would be a very simple increase too. You can use a set of double point needle, but depends on how big the project. The project might be too big for your double point needle. The circular needle is more flexible in terms of the project size. And for this particular one I like, it's from Neater's Pride. I will have the link in the description box below. The yarns I use today is from Lion Brand. It's called Comfy Cotton Blend. It has 50% cotton and 50% polyester, so it's machine washable. And I'm using five millimeter needles. And because it has cotton, it will be a nice blanket for the summer. And if you use yarns like this, the variegated yarn, it will create interesting circles of color because we are working from the center out. So that's also an interesting choice. And you can also combine with plain color yarn so it doesn't get too busy. For the cast on, there are several ways. If you search circular cast on, you will see a lot of different ways to cast on. But I'm sticking with the easiest way. Just start cast on as usual and then tighten it up after the project is done. Since we have four sections, I want to cast down eight stitches. You can cast down four stitches and increase. That's up to you. But I think the eight stitch seems the easiest and it still produces a pretty neat center. So I'm just going to cast down as usual. You can use any cast down. I'm just using long tail cast down and eight stitches. Now we have eight stitches on the needle. I can start to do the magic loop method by dividing it in half. So I have four stitches on each needle now. And I'm going to knit a round of plain knitting first. To do the knit stitch, make sure the yarn start behind the needle so you don't create an extra stitch and just knit across all 
Okay, that's the first round. If the young tail is too long, I usually like to tie a knot. So it doesn't get confused. We will start our increase round. Remember, we are going to have one row of increase and one row of plain knitting. First, we want to separate into four sections. So I place the marker every two stitches, like that. And because I have two needles, so I don't need a stitch marker between here and here. I know where is the beginning of the section here. So now we have four sections. We start increase. And I like to use a yarn over increase, or you can use knit front and back, or any type of increase. And the increased stitch will be the first and last stitch of each section. So in this case, you'll be both. And here, the first and last stitch of each section. And because I want to use yarn over, so I place a yarn in the front instead of in the back, like when I'm going to knit. So yarn in the front, and we start knitting. And you can see this yarn becomes a yarn over. When I place like that, it creates one extra stitch. So I have one stitch increased and the last stitch I want to increase too. So I do the yarn over, just place a yarn to the front and knit. Now we have four stitches here and move the marker and we'll do the same. We'll increase both stitches and we just do yarn over yarn over and we'll do the same on the other side. Make sure the yarn's in the front. We start knitting. This creates the yarn over and then we'll do a yarn over here. And slide the marker. And we want the yarn over again. So the yarn in the front and knit and knit. Yarn over and knit. Now we increased a stitch total in this round. And for the next round, we are just going to knit. And for the knitting, we make sure the yarn is in the back, not in the front. So the yarn in the back, and we start knitting. Now you see it doesn't create an extra stitch. One, two, three, four. We have four stitch in each section now. And just continue all the way. Okay, that's the second round. And the third round will be increase again. So we want to increase the first and last stitch of each section. So make sure the yarn goes to the front this time to create a yarn over. So we do a knit, that's the yarn over. And in the middle, it will be just plain knitting. One, two, and now we have the last stitch in this section. We want to increase again. We want to make a yarn over. So move the yarn to the front and knit. It's one stitch increased. So we move the marker and do the same. The first one we want yarn over. 
and the middle we want just plain knitting. The last stitch yarn over again for increase and we'll do the same on the other side. The first stitch has a yarn over and then knit two stitches and then yarn over, knit. The last section start with yarn over, knit two stitch and yarn over. Now we finish our increase round. The next round we'll do just knitting. So with the yarn in the back, we start knitting. We have six stitch in every section now. So that's the plain knitting round and the next round will be increase again. And we just continue the same pattern. We'll increase the first and last stitch with a yarn over in every section. So every increase round we have eight stitch increased. And following the increase round will be the plain knitting round. And we just continue doing that until as big as you like. And then we will bind off. You can add any edges you like or just use a garter stitch edges like this one, which will be one row knit, one row purl, one row knit, one row purl. When the circular needle start to get small, I add one more stitch marker so I can still see the four sections. One good thing about using the interchangeable needle is that you can switch out the cable. When the cable is not long enough, you switch to the next size up. So that's very convenient. And you can see I have about 22 stitches in each section. And in the center, there's a hole, but I can always sew it close with a young needle. And this is the back side. It's still pretty. Now I have 30 stitches in each section and it's around eight and a half inches wide. I can just bind it off and that will be one square. And if you want to make a baby blanket, you probably need a three by four square. That will be 12 squares. You can make one of this in one afternoon. So when you have time, you can just make one in a day. Over a month or two, you will have many squares and you can just sew it together and add borders to become a blanket. I did my increase wrong and the plain knitting wrong. Now I'm just going to bind off. And you can bind off any way you like. I like to use the knit two together through the back loop. It seems to be more stretchy and more flexible. So that's very easy. You need one, need two, and then just pick up those two and knit together. That's one stitch bound off. And then we just continue, knit one stitch, go through both stitches, knit through the back, and then knit the next stitch. And then knit two together through the back. And we'll just do it all the way around. After bind off and blocking, the whole piece is about nine and a half inch square. It's almost 10 inches. The only thing left is to close the hole in the center. I can just pick up every stitch here. Remember we start with A stitches and we'll just pull it tight to close the hole. Now we just need to weave in the yarn end and it's done. So that will be my summer knitting project. You will be meditative 
and is fun to knit. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.